Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh, oh. coffee rolling right now gotta get it into my veins as soon as possible it's the first thing I do in the morning um, I don't even know if I'm making correct sentences right now it's just I just need it is, is anyone else like that let me know let me know in the comments I, I hardly make it downstairs before I get my coffee but just to recap just to recap uh, just to recap the whole trip, um, first day was absolutely phenomenal. Dreamland, felt like we were in a dream. Weird weather situation, just uh, it was one of those unique days. We caught 42 pounds of bass, best five. Day two was much tougher, you know, it was bluebird, like no wind. I caught a mean mouth, which if you've never heard of a mean mouth bass, it's a... Uh, it's a it's a hybrid. It's a mix between a smallmouth uh, and a largemouth, or smallmouth and a spotted bass. I can't remember the exact exact mixture of it, but uh, I've only caught like one other one in my life. It was on Lake Texoma, and it was small. You know, it was like a pound and a half. And then I lost probably. I mean, it's not crazy to say I probably lost the biggest bass that I've ever hooked because. My biggest bass, my PB is 11 pounds, four ounces. And this fish just absolutely whooped me on. You know, when you get a big fish, and I'll replay this clip for you, there's a, there's a thing that happens usually, and your line goes really tight. It's like you're not pulling the fish through the water at all. And that when that fish is moving, that line is really tight. It just makes this sound it's it's a it's a scary and incredible sound and you just know it's uh it's like a siren one that you got a giant bass one. on the line yeah. got him. That's, that's a got big him. one. Oh my one. god got him. that's a big, big i know one. it is i know it is dude. i know it is so we're going moose hunting today so we're taking the high caliber rifles uh you know big line 25 pound tests seven and a half eight foot rods stiffies don't want it too hot oh just let my rag on fire. I've overcooked the water, John. Got it a little too hot. Don't want to scald your beans. Let's, let's get it going. Just left the little marina store. These people are nice. I got, I got some Guggen mates in there I do. as well. Actually, John had to buy some. Of our own brand. Yeah. Elon buys his own Teslas and Guggen's buy their own baits. You just gotta support your own company. Yeah. Dude, when you're when you're out of a specific color or something at a lake, it doesn't matter. Like you're just gonna buy. 100%. Whatever's I'm just gonna buy free. it. Even if even if that's not the key, the green so just to let her know that it's been the green gizzard. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. 3.8, 3 3.3, and then on all white 4.8. So yeah. green gizzard and then the pearl <clears throat> just one bait that's kind of standing out from the others and i don't know what it is about about uh i don't know what it is about white but it's something with winter white remember that winter and white also ran into a guggen he was, a, he was actually a rackley God. fishing audio he was he was an old school uh, uh fishing freak he was bringing for up sure. the a m days yeah he he knew me from the a m days but he actually he's from uh around where you are and yeah. Knows our baits and yeah, he's everything. Dumb. It's pretty cool. We've actually run into uh, three, three or four people since we've been here that, um, you know, they're like, "Hey guys, like your baits, like what you're, like what you're working with." You know, we appreciate <laughs> it. Shake your tail feather. And are you like windburned all over the nose area? I'm, I'm in so much pain. My I face am is hurting. Is, dude, my face is just disgusting. I gotta put these on the way. Oh, I only have one. I'm gonna grab the burrito for the boat. This is another thing that's kind of important when you're holding a really, really big bass. I, you know, my rule of thumb is something that's over eight or nine pounds. Like when you get into the double D's, uh, especially you're talking like 12, 13, 14, and above. These fish's jaws, you know, their weight is suspended in water, so they really don't have to support uh, this 
this heavy weight, this body with their, their face in the water. When we lift them out, there's a lot of stress on the on their jaw. So holding them like this, like this TPWD sign is showing you, um, it can it can actually like pop their jaws out and hurt their jaws. So you just want to hold them sideways. Like I said, even an eight pounder, it's it's probably not going to do much to them, but good to go. But uh, you get, when you get that double D this spring, you know, just take care of it. Give it a good sniff, smell it, love it, show it some attention, and uh, get some quality picks and return it to the deeps. There are bluegill everywhere in the water by the boat ramp. So I'm assuming that that is uh, down there in all these trees that we see. There's zebra mussels on them and there's algae and we've seen a lot of little, uh, you know, we call them bait fish, but they're like, I'm assuming a lot of little bluegills in there. Absolute bass candy protein. All good. Eat a little food. Meanwhile, there's like 11 pounds of Long journey. Gotta just take a little bit of time just to consume a few calories before you grind all day. Oh. Me and John have fished daylight to dark both days. Mm. I don't think there's another human being on earth that is crustier than us right now. Mm -mm. Ooh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. They make it with love. That's the secret ingredient. Okay. Shout out to the marina store. That's a really good salsa. I really? Yeah. I totally just forgot that Dude, this happened last night. I, I totally forgot too. I'm an idiot. Okay, well. Get all excited, eat your burrito. Get your coffee, pick up your rod. It's an absolute blowout. Oh, you hear one blow? Okay. Two heads are better than Big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're coming up for it, dude. They're coming up for it, I'm pretty sure. What was that all for? They, they nosed. Oh, still... Their nose move. Their, they moved their nose to it. Oh, Just know. wake up, have that coffee, and eat that chandelier, please. Dude, that five mile hour wind makes a difference on the fingertips. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we didn't really fully appreciate how nice it was. It's actually supposed to be warmer today. I know. I think it's supposed to be in high 40s. Yeah. Which isn't really warm, but... If I get any kind of bite, this fish's jaw. You can just hit me in the face. I'm going to Mike Tyson this. Stuff. Mike Tyson his scales off. <clears throat> oh, God, keep going. Oh, my God, that was a head. He's coming for you. He's he coming is. For he you, is. Got him. Got him. Yep. Oh yeah, he's out of the brush. Yeah, he's just one of them pesky. Nice one job. of them peskies. That was cool. <laughs> Blind cast. Get the, get the day started. Oh. I know you're good with that hole. You got that. See, that's that fishing instinct. You don't need to grab. I just keep the lie. I keep the lie. Oh, that was cool. That was cool, dude. Dude, that thing just felt like a minnow compared to that hole. <laughs> Oh, what a chunk Beautiful ball. Fish, though. Absolute. Just all these fish are completely brick houses. It's amazing. Uh, there we go. First one of the day. A butte. It's a nice four pounder, I would say. Let this fish go. Just absolutely built. That one, 
bridged the bridged the or uh, he uh, closed the gap on you pretty quick. Did. It was like probably. A I started just push. speeding it up, and I think that kind of helped, like just speeding it up. I don't know. It's low light hours, you know. Yeah. Might fool a couple. If you guys have never thrown umbrella rigs, really the key is just just a steady retrieve. Just throw it out there and steady retrieve. We're watching this on the live scope, but really any bait that you throw in the early spring, these type conditions, you just want to, if you're fishing grass or whatever, you just want to reel your bait. Then you don't have to see it on the graph. You can feel it. Like if you're throwing a spinner bait or something, just kind of tick the tops. Just keep it right above because that's where the bait is and they're hunting bait that's in the stuff. So if you keep it up here in the mid, mid water column, it's usually no good. You need to just keep it right there above. Where do you think? He's coming up already, man. Take a peek. Oh my god. Take a peek. Take a peek. Oh yeah. If he was far away. Oh, oh, oh gosh, oh, dude, on. that's a big one. Hang on. You might have to do just keep it going. <gasps> oh no. Yeah, I've needed an extra 30, 40 feet. That's when that long cast matters. That was a big one. Wow. He was interested. He heard the splash and instead of like I know. I know. That's there's another one. That was under us. Head, head, head. Get in there, dude. Big cat, big cat. That's a head. That's a head. Oh, there's two heads. Oh my. Oh my god, dude. Please. This please. is it. I think he already sees it. That one in the back, I think, sees it. Please. Oh. Oh. Yeah, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 No. No. A little. Oh, come off. Come off. No. No. Those weren't little, man. Those are big. God. God, those are big. Did, did, you, did he eat it? He ate it. I don't know. Maybe I gave you him the full the, send too early. I don't know, maybe. Send the, if you need to set the hook to the right, just do it. I'm backing out of the way when... No, I'm good. I'm good either way. But... No, it, it thumped it. Look, there he goes. Back. Oh my God, that's a nice one. See, normally I just keep reeling until I feel the weight, but now I'm like... I'm like... I think they mushroom stamp it. I'm uh, a little more cautious. Like, I want to get their head up yeah. as soon as they get on. You said this thing's a 5'8". That rod? It's an 8 foot. No, it's a 5'8". Yeah. Oh, it is a 5'8". Yeah, it's really slow. Oh, my God. Dude, they're poking Yeah, they today. are looking. It's, I think it's the wind, man. Yeah. It's a little breakup. They're not hearing the splash as good. It's just kind of organic. Yes. Yes, that's a good point, too. It was a little bit rough on that midsection too. It was weird. John, would you like to make a cast today? Yeah, I, I am. I am. I promise. <laughs> I can. Uh, I can torque the thing. I just. I, I like watching them. I know you do. This is. This is all. This is all the fun I need. I'm just. Oh god. Gone. <laughs> Not good. No. I'm not. That was my bet I tied that up. Is that how that goes? That's how that goes. <sighs> oh my gosh. Good thing that wasn't on a 12. Yeah, seriously. It's better to have it on a cast than an actual fish. I think that one looks okay. Oh, that one's good to go. That one's good to go. Yeah, look at that. Just a bump. How the hell did you just bump that? Dude, I scaled him. Oh, you did, didn't you? That's what, yeah, he was like gonna eat it. Decent scale. You wonder, I wonder if that's what's happening. Is they go to eat a bait them. and, and uh, another thing touches them and they or they're, freaks or, them out. Or they do what a lot of other fish do, they just smack it. To get the school first, and then maybe they, maybe uh, God. The right fish. oh my God, oh my God, dude, it's a nice. Oh God, Jesus Christ, it's a big one, it's a big one. I think I made it pretty. pretty. Went right over him. Went right over him. Oh, he's coming for it. He's yeah, coming for he it. is. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming hard. He 
hit it. He hit it. Freaking hit it, dude. Bumped it. No. Yes. Just, just a thump. Oh. What are they doing? I don't understand. They rush it and then, like, tail oh. pop it. That's so perfect. That was so perfect. It's a giant. It's a giant. He was screaming through the brush line. Yep. That's when they're gonna eat it when they duck down. Like you're just like a shark. Yeah. They go they go under under the radar for a bit. Oh my god, my heart. Yep. I need a pacemaker. Same. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's even bigger. Let it sink some more. Start right on. He's right there. Right over his head. I think he sees it. Oh, he went the opposite way. That was a pretty good shot of the fish, too. First stop, one, one fish. Had some big followers, but no takers. Buckle up for the frosty ride. Yes, sir. Nice. Put on the Guggen, Guggen Squad Performance hoodie. All Best good. fishing hoodie ever made. Ready? Form fitted to my noggin. Go ahead. Oh god. Nice Two nice ones. Three nice ones. Three nice ones. Coming for it. Mm -hmm. Coming for it. They're all over you. Yep. This is something tiny. I'm, I'm going to slow reel, try to get another one. Okay. Oh, yeah. What the? Fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's what those little ones are. I was expecting to have a couple more on there. Well, there was only a hundred. That literally felt like nothing. Like, I, I was like, dude, is there even a fish There's on? Nothing. Just God, dude, compared to the the gorillas, absolute dude. gorillas. Sometimes you get a little pecker nut. Sometimes you get a giant. That's fast fishing, and that's the mystery. He's still on. He's still on. He's still on the air. He's still on the air. I feel him. He's still on. Holy shit. He's still on. It's a decent one. He's right there, you see him? His, see head, him? his head is right there. Oh, dude, I... You see him? I think I do. He's not that big, I don't think. He's still on. The, so the boat shadow is... That's his head down there. <laughs> you see him? You see, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You think I could reach him with a net? No, it's too deep. The fish is still on. Dude, is that a good one? Looks, looks pretty big. It could be, man. Who knows? You never know out here. It's so deep, I can't really tell. You see him, he's upside down now. I just see the white swim bait. white, yeah. yeah. This is so fun. Oh, that's him, I see that's him now. Him. That's what I'm saying, it's yeah. him the whole time. I think it's like a three, you got him. Yeah, no. I don't. He's on just that single limb. Yeah, he's not that big. But still, he's so cool. Oh, oh, he's... You got him? He's just, oh, he's trying to come loose. Trying his best to come. He just came undone. 
I got him. Got him. No, no, the little guy. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was nuts. <laughs> he wasn't even that big. I thought it was a good one the whole time. Well, it's so deep, I was like, it could be a decent one. That's crazy. I've never done that before. <laughs> well, cool. That was nuts. That was nuts. I was, I was like, just filming John, just to show you guys, you know, how locked in to the, to the live scope he is. And then he just rears back. I'm like, oh my gosh, does he really have a fish? That was crazy. That was so fucking crazy. Wow, what dedication, man. I've never seen it like that before. Absolute like button for sticking with it. Fishing freaks, it's been a hell of a run. Time to pack up the camper and head back in. We went hard with the jig here in the last hour of the day. I was trying to get something to bite in this brush, but it just seems like the way to get bites is keeping your bait in 18 foot of water, some sort of shad style bait. And it's about, it's a numbers game. You know, I'd say one out of every 40 fish that you see and get a chance at will actually commit and you get the fish. And there's something that's, I would love to know. I'd love to have a camera down there and know. But with these umbrella rigs, we've had this happen probably 10 times, maybe a dozen times where the fish is coming. You're sure you're like getting ready to just grip and rip. And you feel a bump. You feel that bite. And there's, there's nothing there. And then you just see the fish dart away. And I don't know what they're doing. I don't know if they're coming up and like slapping it with their head, like trying to injure it first. Or maybe, maybe someone out there knows this, maybe they are feeling another hook. They're going after a specific shad on your umbrella rig and they feel another hook and then they shoot off because I did come up with a scale one time and made me think about that so I don't know but everything has to go right in order to get those big fish to see it commit and then <laughs> we'll hook them and then get them in the boat so uh, it's it's a really incredible thing when you catch a big fish and there's just so much cover in here so much brush that you know to get one in the boat it's a, it's a big accomplishment so Obviously, there's tons of them in here. <clears throat> They're being caught. This is a special place, and it will remain special for a while, I think, because of the amount of cover that is in this lake, but it's not going to last forever. So, special lake. Glad uh, glad Dr John convinced me to come down here in a snowstorm, and it's going to be one of my most memorable memorable fishing trips I've ever been on. Buzzer beater catch. It's a nine-pounder. Oh, oh, they're all over. Oh my God, they're, they're all over. Oh my God, there's so many. They all came up. They all, I thought I lost, I lost <laughs> my original fish. That was not the original fish. I lost my original fish and this guy came up and ate it. As soon as I heard you get excited, I turned on the camera. Wow, that is two, two day ending. Like, pa I was packing it up. We were getting ready to go in and John's like, one more cast, one more cast, one more cast. That was a 10 incher. The other day it was a 10 pounder that he ended on. So, yeah, that, that was not his last cast, I can promise you. That, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it. Opus packed. All is good. John, we did, did it. We freaking did, did it. One of the most epic we wanted to, bass trips ever. We wanted to do a little West Texas sun before the baby came, and Sounds like baby's coming. <laughs> baby's coming. Yeah, baby's just got off the phone. Yeah, just got off the phone. We're and baby's, ready. baby's coming. And uh, this was a good trip to not fish for a bit. This I, is, I feel yeah. content, I think. But I'm excited to go and do this again. I say that, but then like I'm going to get home and I'll be thinking to myself, How, where can we go next? The itch. The itch. I can, it can never be scratched. It never can be scratched. Well said. Well said. All right, y'all. If you want to see more uh, camping and fishing videos, let us know in the comments. Gotta smash it for just an incredible trip out here. And stay tuned for more to come. God bless you in the great outdoors. We'll see you on the next one.